Hey, Lee, I got you a present. Do you want to try opening it? It's from Lynn. Do you see it? Is it interesting? Let's see. Look what you got. Look at that, Leonard. It's a, it's a gnome. Listen, my main man, it's another holiday. And on Christmas Eve, we're gonna read The Night Before Christmas. Do you like your new bed or no? You don't like it so much? Does he like it? He loves it. I was wondering how old he was, and I had a fantasy that I misremembered. And I went into the, my files, and I found his adoption file. And I adopted him from the incredible human being, Dale Mountain, who ran the Jack Russell Refuge. But anyway, I thought maybe I'm wrong, maybe he's not 16. So I went up and I got his, fi his file. And his original name was Bugsy. And um, the most incredible thing if you knew Vivian was there's evidence here that Vivian ran away. And we have this rather amazing photograph of her when she was picked up by animal control. Can you believe that's your wife? Look how young she was. If you know Vivian, that picture is devastating. It's also a lie. There's no way that dog ever ran away from anybody. They um, abandoned her because she had some medical problems. But anyway, she had a wonderful life with us and she was a great loss, but also an incredible gift. I went back to look at Leonard's papers and the unfortunate truth is he is 16 and change because he was apparently four years and six months. And that was in um, 2008, so he is 16. They bought him at a pet store. You were bought at a pet store, can you believe that? They said he was kept inside. They said he was crate trained. He's never been in a crate in his life. I guarantee you, because we tried to take him home in a crate and it was a disaster. They said he's protective of his food bowl? Lynn? Never. No way. Right? How dare they say that? He's never once growled over his hood. Which behavior describes your dog's reaction to each of the following? Babies and toddlers, friendly. Young children, playful, jumps. Older children, playful. Cats, unknown. Other animals, wants to catch squirrels and birds and barks. Remember those days? I love you, my brother. I really do. You rest. Well, I'm reading about you here. Is the dog afraid of thunder, loud noise, vacuums, cars, uniforms, men, women, children, other? No. Right? Why are you giving this dog up? Now I extend compassion. We can no longer tend to them as we are supposed to because we have a baby and work time. I would also add that Vivian had a serious medical condition and uh, I, I have compassion for them. I, I understand. And if they hadn't given them up, I never would have gotten them. How long is the dog left alone? Never. Well, we know that's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they say, please list any animals the dog has lived with. And they give Vivian's hideous name, which was Poochie at the time. They said he's, uh, he growls when threatened. Never seen it. Snaps. Never seen it. You're screwing your nose up. You're scrunching your nose up. Leonard, you're scrunching up your nose. This dog can be described as, and these are the ones they clicked, easygoing, loyal, friendly, obedient. A most convenient dog. Wait, where are you going? Active, playful, outgoing, affectionate, and smart. Thank you for surrendering Vivian and Leonard, because they changed my life. And I urge you to consider adoption, even if you want a specific breed. You might have to wait a little longer. I know that's very un-American, but you might have to wait just a little bit longer to get the breed you want. But there's a dog out there somewhere who's waiting for you. Am I embarrassing you? <laughs>